Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. One of my all-time favorite keyboards happens to be Apple's wireless keyboard. I, I don't know why. Uh, I can type faster on it than I can on just about any other keyboard I've used. And I'm not the only one to say this. Some people like them, some people don't. Now I'm talking about their newer wireless keyboards, not their older ones. And I'll show you the older one here in just a second. Pull it out and under here, just in case. Look at this thing's a beast. It, it, I never liked this. I, I, in fact, I hated this wireless keyboard because the keys were too mushy. Uh, honestly, I, I couldn't really, uh, you know, pick up my words per minute on Apple's old wireless keyboard. But this thing, I fly on. In fact, I've, I've worn a groove. You can probably, I don't know, actually, let me try to hold it closer here. Sorry that it's bright. Uh, I may have to adjust the brightness a bit. Uh, maybe that's not going to show up. Either way, I have worn a hole in my S key. That must be popular for all the S words that I use. All one of them. Uh, either way, uh, I'm not the only one to say this. Uh, certainly, you could use Apple's wireless keyboard on Windows, not just Mac OS X, uh, so long as you have the drivers installed. I am a speed demon on this keyboard. I love it. Uh, not just the layout in general, but just the, the, the way the keys respond. Uh, favorite keyboard of all time. Ooh. Can you guys see this? I'm like, I'm shaking crud out of the keyboard. <laughs> it's, it's like, Ew. Can you see that? Hang on, I'm gonna see if I can get enough crap onto the desk where you can actually see it. Can you, you? I think you can. At least I'm looking at the video preview. Look at that. Look at that crud. That came out of. Uh, like, ew, uh, that's like dead skin and. Uh, I don't know what. You probably uh, should, should use this video as a good reminder for you to shake out your keyboard because I really don't want to know what's hiding in there. Either way. That's not the reason I'm recording this video. Uh, the reason I'm recording this video is not to gross you out, or really to gross me out. I've really got to do something with it. Uh, ew! Uh, you know what? Ew! God! <laughs> the reason why I'm recording this video is actually to, uh, uh, I guess, uh, show you a product that uh, one of you guys had emailed me about uh, a few weeks ago. You asked, hey, uh, Chris, had you heard about the magic wand? a new product from 12 South. And I said, no, I, I hadn't yet. Asked if I had any specials, uh, you know, coupons related to it, as you guys are accustomed to hearing. If you want to buy anything, I may be able to, to serve up a discount. Uh, and I, I passed it along to uh, my contact there at 12 South, and he says, uh, well, we don't really have anything right now, but have you tried the magic wand? I'm like, no, I haven't, even though I happen to use Apple's wireless keyboard, and I also use the magic... Yeah, that's right, I got some magic on my desk, the magic uh, touchpad. And uh, if, I'm sorry, not touchpad, trackpad, God, I, those words, they, does anybody else transpose trackpad and touchpad, or am I the only one? I could be the only one. Uh, either way, uh, they did send me a magic wand, which will, according to the box, connect magic trackpad to Apple wireless keyboard. That's simple. That's exactly what it does. This is it. This nice little piece of plastic that looks like it uh, was made... Uh, to uh, pretty much do what it is supposed to do, and that is to join uh, the wireless keyboard and the Magic Trackpad together uh, to form an all-in-one unit. And you would want this not only to make your desktop look a little cleaner, but um, let's say you happen to be controlling a Mac from across the room. Uh, you would want a keyboard and some kind of pointing device, uh, and so you would want to carry around just one piece rather than two pieces. And Apple doesn't make a, a wireless keyboard slash uh, mouse or input cursor unit thing hardware jabberdoodle. Uh, so that is why 12 South has you know really uh, created something that had not yet been created or at least not as well as could have been done. And so, uh, quite simply, uh, we snap in, a, well, either the keyboard or the trackpad. I don't think it really matters which one you put in first. Slide it all the way down. Then, we place uh, this little, it's like an eye, eye beam. Like a cursor. It's kind of like, I don't know. Am I getting that angle right there? Yeah, I think I am. I'm going to slide that in here. That will act as kind of a, a buffer uh, between the uh, uh, trackpad <laughs> the trackpad and the keyboard. So now I've got them both snapped in. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and slide the, that into place. And in the interim, actually, slide that out a bit. 
there's another, this is a piece of a more flexible, like a, a plastic or rubber that slides, oh my, drop my eye beam. There we go, do, do, do. Get in a little closer, the rubber goes at the top, high beam goes up, and within a few seconds time, making sure everything's comfy, we are perfectly aligned, we now have a all-in-one unit. So I can take this with me, you know, across the room. And it is uh, flush on both ends. There's one end. There's the other. Sorry if it's a, a bit out of focus. Uh, either way, it, it is flush on both ends. And most importantly, uh, I can carry the keyboard around with me uh, in conjunction with the uh, trackpad. Of course, uh, I could also keep this on the desk. Uh, and I did for two days. Um, unfortunately, I can't move as quickly uh, or I guess maneuver uh, as quickly with the trackpad as I can with uh, Apple's Magic Mouse, which I'm very, very happy with. Um, so I would use the Magic Mouse and accidentally brush up against the uh, trackpad. So I would almost have to, in, 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 its, in its current state, so if I were using it like this, I went to use the mouse, I would accidentally brush uh, the trackpad. Or even when I was trying to avoid using the magic mouse, inevitably, because of the way I would use the keyboard or the way my, my fingers would hover over the keyboard, I would accidentally brush the trackpad. So I think it's much more useful in an environment where you're, say, sitting, uh, you know, having a 12-foot experience with uh, your computer rather than a desktop experience. You may like it on the desktop. Uh, I, uh, however, um, really am not you know, a heavy, heavy, heavy touchpad, trackpad user. Uh, and if I was, I would have to keep it out of distance because of the way my hands hover over the keyboard. Uh, either way, the Magic Wand is an outstanding product. Uh, it looks nice. It looks like it fits. It looks like it belongs, honestly. And that's what you, uh, you really want. Uh, with any kind uh, of experience. You want it to be seamless. Well, okay, maybe you don't want it to be, but I would say people with taste uh, would rather have things look nice as well as work nice. See, it's, it's, it's about aesthetics, and 12 South absolutely gets that. Uh, so there you go, there's the box. Uh, magic Wand. Oh, sorry, I was holding it upside down. I don't think that really matters. Uh, you've got my recommendation if you are someone who enjoys the touchpad... Or, again the trackpad or if you're wanting to be mobile with both of these input devices uh, or uh, you know really if, if you're looking for this type of solution that Apple doesn't provide outright so I'm looking forward uh, very much so to uh, seeing the next product that 12 South uh, decides to create because uh, it always looks nice don't you think Maybe you know of another accessory that uh, could make my home office complete and uh, look a little nicer than it does. Feel free to drop me a line. My email address, chris at perillo.com. Of course, uh, you're also welcome to uh, find me on my blog, chris.perillo.com. I'm on Twitter at Chris Perillo, at Locker Gnome as well, facebook.com slash chris perillo, and facebook.com slash locker gnome, locker gnome.net, locker gnome.com. And we also have a chat room. I don't know what this was, but. That was just me saying we're geeking out 24 hours a day, seven days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.